And that's what makes it a unique listening experience. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the first black woman of the Grand Ole Opry gets her own mini show on Beyonce's Cowboy Carter album. On track 19, it's the Linda Martell show. Okay, thank you so very much. The now 82 year old is loving being back in the spotlight and even having people discover her for the first time. She just ran the track from Spotify and wrote, I'm proud that Beyonce is exploring her country music roots. What she's doing is beautiful and I'm honored to be a part of it. It's Beyonce after all. Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? She also gets the intro of spaghetti and she uses those spoken words as a caption on Instagram. But in practice, well, some may feel confined. Beyonce also made sure that two other black female country artists got their flowers as she dropped her own country fused album. K Michelle showed off the bouquet that she got from Beyonce and the card that said, K, you're killing it. I love what you've been doing and I know it's not easy to enter a new space. Sending you positivity and respect. I hope to meet you one day. Love Beyonce. K Michelle wrote in her caption, Beyonce, wow, this is so nice. One of the nicest things ever. I'm in tears. Thank you for giving me my flowers. They're so beautiful. I'm so nervous about finally getting to put out my first country album, and this has just fueled the fire. I'm so motivated. Congratulations on another iconic album and era. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Do your thing, Cowboy Carter. Beyonce, you rock. So much love and support for you. Mickey Guyton, who was the first black female to earn a Grammy nomination in the country categories, also got her flowers from B. Mickey, thank you for opening doors for me, Queen. Keep shining. Love and respect, Beyonce. And Mickey's Instagram caption said, With opportunity comes possibility. Possibilities are endless with you, Beyonce. God gave me an assignment and I followed. May the doors continue to stay wide open. That's lovely. And it's great seeing Mickey write something like that because I interviewed Mickey. Oh, I interviewed Mickey in uh, 2020. Um, yeah, it was a really interesting interview because when we started the interview, she was very hesitant to, um, or didn't want to have to take on that label being the black, you know, country female artist. And yeah, she kind of, as that interview progressed, she kind of... Um, Became more accepting that it's really interesting to watch and really interesting to have that conversation with her. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice gesture by Beyonce to acknowledge all those females. But yeah, it's a very long list of artists that she's paying tribute to or honoring or shining a light on. And yeah, I mean, she's doing a great job doing it. I mean, to use her reach and pulling people with her. It's great. What are your thoughts? They call me the captain, the catwalk assassin when they know what's happening.